Hello everyone, this is a room tour of a terraced one bedroom suite at the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. It is August 2024. We've been here for three nights. We're just about to check out. This video has been done over a couple of days from when we first came when the room was, when the bed was clear, so you'll see that. And we're now checking out, so we'll see this side um, as we are leaving uh, with our final thoughts. So as you come in, you have an entrance uh, small entrance uh, way here. We are in the Boulevard Tower. So this is the tower, of course, that sits on Las Vegas Boulevard. A 56 floor, room 88. Uh, we're facing south down the strip. I'll show you the view we have in a moment. But as you come in, you have this large seating area. All these lamps are individually controlled. They're not part of the master switch. Got some artwork on the walls. Uh, as we swing around, we have the first TV. It's also where your mini bar area is and the iPad. Sadly, the iPad isn't working. Uh, mini bar is working. As always, it's uh, touch sensitive, so just uh, be careful moving anything. You do also get your own fridge to use, uh, which comes with the room, which is very handy for storing your own stuff and just some storage space down there. Uh, some more mini bar uh, items here, and there are some plugs behind. Be careful if you do use those. As I said, moving, moving all of the stuff there will incur an automatic charge. So looking back again, we've got uh, aircon units here, which are uh, very good at keeping the room cool. Uh, there's no issues there. Uh, moving on, we have a couple of nice big mirrors and wardrobe space. I think when I showed these originally, our stuff was in there, but just so you can see now, plenty of space in there. Okay, so swinging around. Uh, the main bedroom there, I'll do that. I'll put that on the end because I've already filmed that when it was uh, freshly made. But uh, opposite you have uh, your bathroom. There's dual vanity. And you have these products here for the Cosmopolitan. These seem to be what MGM now put in their um, upper brand luxury resorts. We are moving from here to Aria today and they've got the same products, it's just Aria branded. There will be a video of our room there, which is going to be a tower corner suite. But back to this room, so this is your dual vanity. Just to the side, you have your toilet. There is one toilet in this room. Again, you've got sockets either side. Uh, and in here, uh, I'll jump to the other video because I've done that as well, but this is your shower and tub, bathtub in there. Uh, if I do the shower area first, uh, it, it's designed as a wet room. So you've got a shower, decent water pressure. Um, let me just see if I can get it on. There you go. The water pressure is fine. Uh, and then one of the cool things with this room is the bathtub. I should have thought about the water before I <laughs> through. Um, got a bathtub here. You can fit uh, two people in the seating with two in there. I'll show you, there you go. Uh, and you get a view of whichever way your room is facing. In this example, our room is facing south. So down to MGM uh, and the rest of city center. There's also in the wardrobe, just to mention, an iron and ironing board and more sockets still down there. Robes, which are free to use, but not free to take. So if you do take those, you'll incur a charge. Uh, the slippers you can take. And your safe is in here as well. And into the main bedroom. So very comfy king bed. I'll just take you round. There we go. Uh, yeah, no, very, very comfortable. Um, pillows, they're very soft if you prefer. I think they are uh, natural if you prefer more firm pillows. I think you can ask uh, housekeeping to bring them up. Either side, there is a bed stand, uh, a lamp on both sides. The lamp itself has plugs and USB-C charging points. And there's also additional room control there. So you can turn your bathroom lights on, the, the room lights on. 
and you've got a flick out light which twists for reading. Uh, some lights up there and there's another aircon vent in here. The aircon main control panel is in here as well. So we've just got it off at the moment uh, just because we've been out of the room. Actually, turn that back on now. It's, uh, get the room cool. It's about 40 degrees out Celsius. As opposite the bed you have a very small uh, seating area. It's more of a makeup area I think than anything else. Uh, but no mirror. Uh, another TV. And then you can see through into the bathroom here. So obviously it's a room for couples or people that know themselves very well, particularly if you've only got the one bed. But yeah, you can see the soaking tub. There's no uh, partition here. You can see looking back around into the bathroom or into the shower area. And then finally we have the terrace. Really, really good sized terrace. Again, it's south facing, as I said, so um, it gets a bit hot during the day in the summer. Uh, to open it, you just need to lift the latch up like so and then it just pulls open. All the terraces have a sofa. There's a table there with an ashtray and on the other side a single chair and another table. All the furniture is weighted down with uh, concrete blocks underneath so it's not going to go anywhere in, when the wind gets high because being on the 56th floor it does get windy. Uh, one of the things I would say to keep in mind is because of you, uh, I think it's more because of the sliding door, you do hear more of the outside than what perhaps I'm used to staying in other properties. It's not really bad, I mean if you're tired you're gonna sleep, but just uh, you tend to hear when it's busy traffic, you, you do hear that a bit more if you're trying to sleep. As I said, 56th floor, very, very high up. Let me just show you over the edge. Facing south down Las Vegas Boulevard, so MGM there, uh, Aria, Park, MGM, and then further down all the way to the end to Delano. Of course, I've got the pools, you can see. Uh, and one of the things I do like are this, this safety rail. If you are afraid of heights or you're uncomfortable, you're such a long way from the actual edge. This is my arm, it's all, pretty much an arm's length. You can't get to the edge, you are forced back. So. If you're not too keen on heights or you're not sure or you feel unsafe you, you don't on here it's solid the balcony is solid uh, and you have this very solid protective uh, distance between the two let me show you a bit more there man. but you do get an absolutely fantastic view i mean you can't beat that whatever way you're facing uh, you're either going to be facing south there we're going to be facing onto the boulevard north to the fountains back onto the other Cosmo Tower. Okay, so uh, you, you have just seen the uh, bedroom part that I filmed earlier in the stay, uh, and that really brings us to the end. A uh, couple of things just to, I guess, to point out as well is you can lock off the bathroom with the door here, and you can also block out the bedroom with this door here. So that if you do want to separate yourself and just have some your own time in in the lounge or if someone is, is sleeping you can at least lock yourself away in here it does of course then get quite dark but all around you know being very happy with this room it was comped as part of an mgm offer uh, i think we just had to pay resort fee so for four, well, three nights it was 50 dollars a night uh, resort fee the room itself you know it's a very nice room the resort's lovely there's a, a couple of bits around the edges that do need fixing. Um, as I said, the door handle falls off on, on that one. The iPad doesn't work. And when we got here, we had to get someone up to fix the safe because it was literally taken apart. Um, so not, not ideal. But other than that, <laughs> the room has been fine. It's absolutely, fat, you know, having that terrace, it makes all the difference, even though it is too hot to stay out there for too long, especially in the summer. When we're looking at 41, 42 degrees Celsius. Um, but it's just, that it is lovely to have, especially first thing in the morning. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If it's helped you, please give it a like. 
comment below uh, or any questions you have uh, about stay, uh, your stay here, if it's upcoming, or this room type. This is the only room type we've stayed at at Cosmo, so uh, if you have questions on any other rooms, I'm probably, can't, probably not the best place to ask. But look on our channel, we've got lots of Vegas room reviews, uh, room tours. But yeah, until next time, happy traveling, and we'll see you then. Bye for now.